Google I.O. will be on May 10th. Let's talk about it. Welcome to Clean Tech, home of data technology news and reviews, and today we're going to be talking about Google I.O. 2023. Today's video is brought to you by Clean Phone. More on them at the end of the video. All right, so Google is expected to have more than 20 artificial intelligence products launching this year, and we'll show many of them during the I.O. or the Google event, if you will, for 2023. Let's jump right in. Google has announced its annual I.O. conference will begin on May 10th. The company says it will be, quote, broadcast in front of a limited live audience and is open to everyone online and that you can register to attend today. For those of you who are wondering exactly how you could go about and doing that right off the bat, you know, just a quick Google search, a register for Google I.O. 2023. The first thing that pops up, click on it, uh, enter your deets and you should be good to go. This year, the biggest expectations revolve around all of the artificial intelligence technology Google is developing. Uh, expect news about BARD, the uh, alternative that Google has for ChatGPT, Google's answer to ChatGPT, like I said, as well as other products to generate images, uh, write code for apps, or test product prototypes. Um, see, what's interesting from, uh, well, at least uh, what I think would be interesting is, um, you know, how the whole uh, AI thing, you know, just came out of nowhere and, you know, it's just starting to get really competitive. You know, Microsoft's getting in there and uh, Google's uh, getting in there. ChatGPT is already there. There's, uh, you know, uh, third party tools uh, popping left, right, and center. And then obviously it's more about, you know, just how much capable everybody's tool is and, you know, like uh, the bigger. Uh, the better, the meaner it is, you know, that it, it, it just ends up being the winner in the end, pretty much. But how exactly is this going to end up being monetized? See, that's what I want to know. In the end, I feel like AI chatbots and all these services, they're well, exactly that, a service. And uh, these companies, I feel like in the future, down the road, one way or another, uh, you know, are going to be able to or will want to figure out a way where they can go ahead and actually monetize uh, these uh, chat AIs or chatbots. The conference is typically where we'll get information about the next version of Android as well, which uh, Google has already pre which Google has already previewed for developers, as well as where we'll see various hardware announcements. Um, Android and Chrome are now operating on screens of all sizes, from wrists to the TV and everything in between. So there's plenty of room for speculation. Obviously, none of this is uh, confirmed. Every thing you know is speculation so do take it with a grain of salt uh there are rumors that will get details on uh the pixel 7a and the long rumored pixel fold during the keynote and it's possible we could hear more about the company's upcoming tablet given that the invitations uh, to the event look uh, pretty much exactly like a tablet uh, that last one feels like an almost sure thing. We actually have an image over here. Let's go. It's Google I.O. May 10, 2023. Day 64 hours, 18 minutes, 19 seconds, 15. Obviously uh, portraying, uh, I'm guessing, what's, uh, you know, the time left. Uh, or at least at the time of posting this image between, uh, you know, then and the event itself. And we actually have a tweet that we could go ahead and take a look at. So the Pichai, the CEO... Uh, excited that this year's uh, Google I.O. will be on May 10, live from Shoreline uh, Amphitheater in Mountain View and online at io.google for slash 2023. That's the URL. Let's go ahead and take a look at the video. Just a pretty simple Google I.O. animation letting you know that May 10th is the date, you know, uh, save the date sort of a thing. Uh, but yeah, all in all, uh, lots to look forward to in terms of uh, the Android operating system, in terms of uh, uh, other services that Google offers, whether it's Google Wallet uh, or, you know, uh, Gmail or Calendar or uh, maybe their um, Google Assistant or uh, maybe even Barn. I mean, that's the one that I'm looking forward to the most. And uh, uh, yeah, uh, just, um, uh, hey, it's the modern day and age. It's, uh, you know, the era of technology. It's uh, the days of AI and uh, AI is what I look forward to in the most but yeah those are just some of my thoughts on it let me know yours down in the comment section below Queen phone is the perfect phone for your kids because it allows you to manage everything on the phone remotely 
It has tons of amazing features such as easily allowing you to pick and choose which apps and games your child can use, provides you access to active phone monitoring including SMS and phone call usage, allows you to control how long and how often your kids can use apps or the internet. You can even check their call and SMS logs including inbound and outbound calls and messages and it is the perfect way to manage their screen time. Check them out in the description box down below. Thank you so much for watching and you have a great day.